If you've ever looked at any religious artwork, you've probably noticed a number of hand gestures made by the main subject of the painting, namely Jesus Christ. So that begs the question, what do they mean? There are a number of gestures that we can go through, so this will not be an exhaustive study, just a short little introduction. In the Roman world, the hand gestures usually signified the person who was speaking. Christians came along, continued that tradition, and added their own flair. All right, let's start with this one. As you can see, the index finger and the thumb are both pointing up. This is the gesture of declamation, narration, or simply wait a moment. It's not uncommon to see this in paintings of Christ when he's speaking to his apostles or to crowds. All right, moving on to this one. You can see the middle finger and thumb are touching and all the others are extended. This signified the introductory part of the speech. It's also very similar to another hand gesture we're gonna to get to a bit later, so keep this one in mind. Taking a look at this one, you can see it kind of resembles a sideways okay sign, which is actually fitting because this is the gesture for perfect or excellent. Okay, so those are what the hand gestures meant in the ancient world. But like I said earlier, the Christians came along and added their own flair, like this one. Now this is similar to the gesture for the introduction, but as you can see, the ring finger and thumb are the ones touching and the others are slightly bent. Even more, the fingers all serve to form the letters ICXC. That's the abbreviation of the Greek word for Jesus. When you see this gesture, it means the figure, again, namely Christ, is giving a blessing. And that's not all. The three fingers that aren't touching also signify the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Again, there are so many more gestures that we could go through. These are just some of the more common ones that you're probably going to come across. So next time you see a piece of art or an icon, what have you, look for the hand gestures and see if you know what it means.